Fugitive! Halt, I say! The jig is up! Fools! Enough grandstanding! Arrest him! What should we do? First you pick up one of these, then go like this! Ooh. Now! Let's get to the lower quarter. I got an invitation to the castle and had the most marvelous time there. Of all the... then who's the young lady? Pleased to meet you. I'm Estelise. The pleasure is all mine, miss. Uh, more importantly, uh, about those Imperial Knights. They've been so busy looking for you, they haven't paid any attention to our fiasco down here. So you've really managed to tick them off, huh? It looks that way. Has Rapide come back yet? Sure did. He was carrying some bag. What happened to it? It should be up in your room. Go pick it up later. Give it a shake. It has a nice jingle to it. Mordio liked it, too. You met Mr. Mordio? Yeah, but the rat left town. Apparently he's someone important from a city called Ospio. Left town? Well, then that means we've been hoodwinked. Afraid so. His house was empty, and I doubt he's even a real noble. I see. Looks like the Aquablasty has finally stopped leaking water. Well, without a core, it won't budge. Is there enough water for the time being? Yeah, but it won't last long. After that, we'll just get it from the river. Mm, get the runs, though. And the knights aren't gonna help. Guess I'll go get it back from the thief myself. What? You aren't thinking of following Morty over beyond the barrier, are ya? Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Who's worried? It's a good opportunity for ya. No need for you to hurry back here. Huh? What do you mean by that? What I mean is, we can get along just fine without ya. Even Flynn used to say, I wonder how long Yuri plans on living this life. Flynn needs to learn to mind his own business. You've given my two lackeys a headache. Now be a good boy, and turn yourself in. Well, that's our cue. Looks like I won't be coming back here for a while. Never a dull moment with Yuri around. After this, I'll be even with you for getting that money back. And just make sure you don't kick the bucket blowing it all on some crazy party. Same to you. See that you don't go dying in any ditches. Wait for me. It was nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, he'll probably be quite a pain in the neck. You make sure to take care of yourself now. I will. Thank you. When are you gonna fix the fountain, 
Sir Knight. Hey, cool, Knight! Hooray! Hooray! Uh, won't you help this old man find his dentures? Fools! You're in my way. Do not interfere in the affairs of the Empire. This only has the roads written on it. What did you expect? It's better than nothing considering people don't normally leave the city. You'll have to fill in the empty spaces on your own. First off, you should head for Dayton Hold to the north. <laughs> Honestly, they're probably thrilled to finally get rid of me. Hey, hold it. Who put money in here? I, I can't take this. Halt! Get out of my way! Uh, I guess I'll have to keep it for now. What? Nice one, Rapide. A dog? Well, for now, it's north to Dayton Hold. What? Oh, right. I'm not sure how long we'll be together. But here's to the road ahead, Estelle. Yes, I... Huh? Estelle? 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 To the road ahead, Yuri. Well, so long for now. We hope to be back soon. and even money. Your friends are so generous, Yuri. <sighs> they can't afford this. They can barely get by as it is. Well, I'm sure they're worried about you and want you to have a safe journey. <laughs> it's more likely they're just glad to be rid of a troublemaking kid. That's not true. Guess I can't come back empty-handed now that they've given us all this stuff. Now I gotta bring back the Aquablastia, no matter what.
Estelle. Estelle. She's been mumbling to herself for a while now. Mm. Hey, you coming? We don't have all day here. Estelle. Estelle. Looks like she's in her own little world. Hey, Estelle. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm coming. Do they not have nicknames where she's from? Followed you here? I wonder. Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay, and I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. All right, let's see if we can just pass through the hold. Where's she off to now? Welcome. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? The special techniques contained in weapons. These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil, but the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by the person using the weapon. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Kritia gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. I thought Bodhi Blastia only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. It all depends on your preference. If weapons you equip have weapon skills sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. If you have a weapon equipped, you can use the weapon skills sealed inside whenever you want. However, if you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Each weapon skill belongs to one of four different categories. When you set a few different skills in a weapon, depending on what category they are, a particular glyph will appear on the core of your Bodhi Blastia. So, if you had a bunch of weapon skills for attacking, you'd see a glyph called Fleck. That glyph lets you know the strength of your physical attacks has gone up. Try all of the combinations you can think of to see what they do. I'm afraid the sun would set long before I could explain them all to you. Did you get all that? You learn fast. You should be able to read all about it in that young lady's book. I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. Huh? Did you say something? I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing, but it's yours if you like. Thank you very much. 
Is that book any good? It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish. just left the capital and things are already getting crazy. That's it. I'm cursed, I know it. <gasps> the gate! <sighs> what the hell? Cut it out! Estelle, you wait over... say P please i can't get up ow the monsters the monsters everything's going to be okay hey i can i can stay 
How can I ever thank you? Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. Thanks. I'm just thankful that everyone's safe. Whoa. All worn out, huh? It really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely use a barrier against a pack that big. Couldn't they install a barrier, Blastia, here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created the Blastia. Even if that were to happen, I can't see the Empire using the knowledge for the common good. You two there! I'd like to have a word with you. So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine! How many times do I have to say it? These monsters are tougher than you think! You dare to doubt the power of the monster hunters? Stop! Stay out of this! You knights cheated us out of a job back there, and now we're gonna work off some steam! Hey, hold it! It's always the same with these guild idiots. Great, we'll never get through as long as this keeps up. But Flynn is headed to Halor, and we're so close. Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. We made quite a scene, didn't we? I was so worried once those knights noticed us. I told you we couldn't stand out. You were the one who just jumped. I can't just look away when monsters are attacking someone right in front of me, right? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. That sounded just like the way Flynn described you, that's all. He often said that you could never turn a blind eye when someone near you was suffering. Well, next time you see him, you tell him that I said he's the same way. <laughs> I'll do that. You there. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. Watch your manners around the president. Well, what do you say? So, it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself? Watch your mouth! You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Guilds, huh? You see, I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? 
Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? He's the leader of that pack of monsters. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. Huh. I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. Um. You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. Go to the Quoi Woods that lie to the west of here. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way... ...must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. I like a boy with quick wits, but I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. Estelle. I... I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey! That woman who gave us directions. She said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman of Fortune's Market. Man, giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just living free. Yuri, are you interested in the guilds? Interested? Nah, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who'd refuse the Knights' protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was.
next week. I feel You look very good swinging a sword, Yuri. You're not bad yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Uh oh, really? Wow, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. A forest in a place like this can only mean... the Quoi Woods? Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Ah, so that must be the surprise. Not going in? It's fine by me, but what about Flynn? I know. Okay, let's go. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? 
If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. something my feet feel cold all of a sudden oh no is this the curse what sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway the voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom oh brother what's that doing in a place like this let's take a break I I'm all right huh what's this <gasps> Estelle Damn, that's bitter. You all right? Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air? That's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't. If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... And what if you collapse again and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, 
Whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? <laughs> that must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready. Thank you for the meal. Uh, it wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. Cooking clears your mind, and it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg. Which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. And, there you are. A delicious meal. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking, but some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going? Repeat, when I passed out, you laid down and made the nicest pillow for me. Thank you very much. What are you doing? I'm, um, thanking Repeat. Repeat? He's not here. Huh? What? Maybe he doesn't like me. Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. over with.
We can't seem to find our way through this forest at all. Oh, could this be the curse? What should we do, Yuri? There really was a curse after all. Don't be stupid. Or do you not have a good sense of direction? No, of course I do. I think. Then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? They say no medicine can cure a fool, but I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction. <laughs> Is this kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? Oh, brother. This should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halur. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man. I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear. The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort. See that? I've even got my own Blastia. What? You guys both have one too? Uh, uh, oh yeah? Well, how do you like this? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap, or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Yo! Do you guys even know where you're going? Halor's to the north, once you get out of the woods! Come on, guys! Wait for me! I don't understand Repeat. He's a dog with claws and fangs, but he uses weapons? Yeah, I guess dogs do usually fight with claws and fangs. Huh? But Repeat's a dog, isn't he? Repeat is Repeat. What does that mean? Whatever he is, Repeat doesn't think of himself as a dog. That's why he uses weapons and items. But that's not to say that he thinks of himself as a human, either. 
I don't really understand, but he seems very proud. <clears throat> yep, so show him some respect. Hey, Yuri, are you translating what Rapide's saying? Nah, it's just your imagination.